All hail Sloppy Toppy, Arco God and Savior of our Mandalorian people scattered and almost destroyed. The body count has been tremendous over the last few days, but no one, my friends, has a higher body count than Sloppy Toppy. <gasps> our Arco God, whom will guide us to the four pillars of Arco Ascension. Speaking of pillars, we might need to upgrade this ship with one or two guns. And I'm thinking, uh, on the subject of pillars, a few more enormous spinal amplifiers. That'll be fun. We could throw down a laser amplifier. We could throw down a uh, uh, plasma amplifier. Or we could go for some of these fancy new things. There's a disassembler spinal barrel, which I presume... Disassembles enemy ships. Oh, it does say that recycles enemy ships. That's fun. And of course, there's the psychic flyer, something we've been hit a couple of times by. But to be honest, I welcome their, their landing parties to come and try. We, we have a well-armed army of exceptionally powerful Mandalorians, all of which, in terms of hand-to-hand -hand combat, are unrivaled. One pillar is on some sort of enormous space station that we are expected to go out there and fight. Another pillar is on a moon base that we will have to land on and fight our way through waves and waves of mechanoids. The final pillars are very appropriately right next to where we first settled on this planet. Near those first villages, we have the star totem site taken over by some sort of berserker band and the mother hive site taken over by Boog. We're going to, of course, send in the AIs to go and fight the first few waves. They've got guns. Of course, I've been training them up very, very briefly over the last couple of episodes. They have a little bit slightly better shooting skill. They are our cannon fodder Mandalorians who will come in first and soften things up for us. Oh, no. And of course, Sloppy might physically be a colonist, but of course, his mind has merged with the Arcotech in the center of our ship. We'll also have made it with much of your ship's equipment. It is now more and more in need of repair. Oh, sorry. We've mated with your ship's equipment. He has broken down some stuff. Oh, yeah. He's caused breakdowns all over the ship by sticking his sloppy toppy where it does not belong. Do we have enough resources to immediately begin expanding the vessel? 428 advanced components. A good amount of plastic. We need a lot more uranium. Ah, oh, the uranium's not bad. All right, let's give it a go then. Sod it. We can build it out of regular plating, and it should get upgraded through the Arco conversion process, which has converted a lot of the ship. I presume there's not like a limit to the radius. Oh, maybe there is. Wonder if it'll only expand up to a certain degree. No, all the ship's connected. I assume it'll go all the way to the top eventually. And if it doesn't, it is what it is. Oh, it's already started converting it. Oh, cool. Oh, weird. I wonder why it's not going any further higher than it. It must be a radius thing. That's all right. That's fine. I don't really mind too much if the ship is a slightly different color. I mean, I assume there's some health point differences too. I'm not that bothered. I think we'll put the... Uh, capacitor there because I want to build more stuff around it. Otherwise, like I said last episode, if they shoot the middle point, the whole gun is taken out. So I want to make sure this thing is very, very, very well defended by putting other parts of the ship around. Co shield generators. 12 exotic particles, but we need 400 gold a generator, and I haven't got a damn thing. Sloppy, my friend. It's time for one last trading mission. Actually, you need some silver. Sloppy, get out of the ship. It's almost time for one last trading mission. <laughs> Sloppy, you've done it again. 3,000 gold. In fact, we could upgrade all of our shield generators. That'd be a sensible idea. Oh, no, look, it is still spreading upwards. Oh, that's good. This is a hideous vessel, and I'm ashamed. <laughs> but on the plus side, we've got two big laser guns now. Bear in mind, they always come right up to us anyway, so we might as well get something good out of it. That laser gun we briefly had before did some gangbusters. It was like crazy damage. 74 amplifiers per gun, by the way. Uh, this one is 27. So these are quite sizable upgrades. I'm still very worried. They're a little vulnerable. But again, I'm going to build another extension off the side and at the bottom as well. And it's all going to it's all gonna look fine, okay? Don't panic. What I want to do first is try and get into a fight so that we can test how good this ship is. Sloppy's going to do a little searching for us. I mean, the ship's half built because we ran out of resources. But I think we've got a raid that's just turned up. So that's going to solve that problem. Hello. Nice to see you. Boom. Oh, shit. Okay. It was three ships. That's okay. We can deal with three ships. I've dealt with three ships before. Oh, my God. Hello there. I fought these two before. This is a new one. This is an Achilles class from Starship. Star... <laughs> Starship. Yeah, no, we're going to stick with that. There's a lot of plasma guns on that thing. But again, not many rail guns. So we've got we've got that advantage. I'll oh, kill them dead. Yeah, though, this is not going to be finished. We haven't, we haven't got any plasteel. That's it. We're totally out. I need to trade some regular steel for plasteel. Uh, here's the play, right? I'm gonna, this is going to blow your mind. I'm going to say uh, select matter. Sorry, select uh, everything. And then I'm going to click on this ship right in the middle. And I'm going to say just fire. 
and that's going to be my my tactics. I was thrown off by the optimized meta button. That's the uh, Utah teapot right there, if I had to guess. Or maybe the developers of Save Our Ship really enjoy tea. Maybe that too. I shrunk that shield down because I didn't think it needed to be massive. To be fair, we've got a lot of redundant shields going on right here that we could definitely sort out. Yeah, I mean, by all means, fly up to us. We're effectively a space station at this point until I've solved the... Uh... Oh, God, do you see all those guns line up then? Holy... Holy shit, that used up how much of our power? Like one-fifth of our power just to fire one volley. Oh, God. I've made a tremendous mistake. We might need to put one of those... Uh, one of those uh, one of those reactors in overdrive okay and beautiful oh we didn't even hit a single gun that is fucked overdrive 2 increases instability which means it will break down it also increases the output by another 20,000 watts a piece i think we have to manually go over there and repair it because the hit points start dropping at this stage i'm just gonna undraft them why not as long as keep them drafted up by all means carry on what about like um okay let's put these two in overdrive one as well Let's go. Okay, so this thing we can't change, and it's gotten a fuel for 15 hours. Maybe that'll take the edge off. We'll see how it goes. Oh, their shield's still down. Beautiful, beautiful. Here we go, here we go. Come on. We took out one plasma turret. Brilliant. <laughs> Not within lasering range. Come on. Yes! Yes. Lasers. 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 Laser them. Laser them. <laughs> oh, I mean that's them that's them dead. Right. That's that's them absolutely dead. Oh, there's the laser from the other barrel as well. Oh my god. Man, I do like the lasers. I think they're very good. I mean that shield that they've got up there is gonna breach in no time, surely. Yeah, there you go, that's down as well. This ship is dead. Come on. That's a lot of lasers they've got coming in. Oh, and there's a volley of every single rail gun. <laughs> oh my god that's insane there it goes wowie jesus and somehow the ship's still going i mean credit to them i don't know i don't know how our lasers are still firing how is the ship still fucking going what if i what, like what are you doing <laughs> Enemy ship is attempting to retreat. Is it really? It is actually managing to get out the range of our lasers. I just, we're just about to cut it in half too. And I think they've done it. I think they've actually gone away. Oh my God, credit to them. Well, we took a big chunk off of it there. That's amazing. Situations like this are where we need to be able to fire the engine. So I'm going to try it and just see. Still just one engine firing. Still just one engine firing. We're never going to be able to keep up with them with just one engine. You know why it's not firing the main spinal laser? We've got over 200 guns on the ship, and 200 is the maximum limit. Oh, shit. Well, that explains a lot. I think I can manually select the railgun turrets. Yeah, there you go. Set force target. Uh, let's just take, um, I don't know, this one out. Which one do you think is more deadly? I think they're both pretty terrible. Let's take that one out next. Then I think I've got to just manually start selecting some stuff. So we'll fire you at you. Not that I think it's going to reach. So this is where we'll take this one. And we'll just do that. I think that's our problem because I'm selecting just too many guns in, in one go. And then I'll have to manually select the little ones afterwards as well. 30 of those. Okay. And then we'll fire that one there. Are they going to fire now? Yeah, look, they're firing. They're firing perfectly fine now. That's a weird issue to have. Just too many guns. Here we go. Massive volley coming in. I think that's pretty much stopped them retreating ever. Pretty good. I'm hoping I can actually get some salvage from this. So if we can destroy the bridges. There you go. That's good shit right there. Beautiful. Oh, no. Oh, the map's broken. Ah. Um, well, I don't know what's happened there. I, I can't exactly keep shooting them now, can I? Oh, my God. Our laser is capable of firing again. Okay. Set force target. Just aim anywhere, I suppose. Like, good luck. Oh, we not enough power. We need more power plants to be able to shoot this shit. <laughs> it's amazing. Am I just going to have to kind of hope that those shots hit something? Ship battle one. There you go. Beautiful. Right, so we know the problem with our ship then is obviously I expanded things out. I, I, I slapped on a shitload more guns, but we haven't got enough power to fire what we've got. The, the antimatter reactor obviously puts out an insane amount of power. The problem with that is... Let's put those back on overdrive one. I think we need way more capacitors and just way more fission reactors because we've got an insane amount of uranium fuel pods, so that's clearly not an issue. I can still throw down a bunch more of those. We need to move some guns from here to the outside part and then fill this with more 
more fission reactors. Having this right at the edge is probably a very poor idea. In fact, this is the perfect thing to swap out. Look, let's get rid of some of these cooling tanks here. And let's just throw in, like, two of these. Oh, I can't retrieve from this ship. Something, something's gone horribly wrong with that map, hasn't it? I, I presume that's this one here, right? Because it's got people on it. Yeah, okay. So let's get that one abandoned. Oh, no, we can't. Okay, let's save and reload. Beautiful. Save and reload has fixed it. Let's see what we actually ended up being able to grab then. Luckily, I think it's most of the... Yeah, I was going to say most of that top ship. I have to do a little bit of spring cleaning of the crew. Oh, my God. There's not enough room to put on the map. <laughs> okay, fly over there. Cut it in half is what you're saying. That's fine. I can work with that. Same story with this one. Yeah, I just can't quite fit them in. All right, load up the shuttle. Good first test of our AI. I mean, they didn't do amazing work, but they're not bad. I don't think I have to worry about bleeding out either on account of them being robots. I guess we'll just cut it into cut it into pieces. Just do that straight down the middle, straight down the top. Perfect. And then how's this one looking sloppy? Apparently, we have to hack the bridge on this one. I don't really understand why. I think I need to be responsible and work on the ship in the background while we do other things that are important, okay? I think that's a, I think that's a just and sensible and the right thing to do. To be fair, the ship hull is so bloody cheap. We can get all this filled out, no problem. 14,000 plastic, 90,000 steel. So then, first things first. We know the ship works, right? We know the ship works. It's fine. It needed more power. I built more power. It needs more capacitors. That much is true. So I'll slap some of those probably down. Um, I don't know. Probably somewhere in the middle here. We'll move some of these guns. It doesn't really matter. It's not high priority. We can probably defend ourselves all right up here in space. I think we head to the planet. Where did I put the shuttle? Gonna land the shuttle like right here because let's be honest, we can't slash aren't gonna be able to use the engines. I was reading in the Steam comments, apparently it's a bug to do with claiming wrecks. Apparently if you abandon all the wrecks on the map, you're fine. But the problem is we incorporated a wreck into the middle of the ship, right? And I tried doing it from the, I don't know, maybe we need another glitter tech salvage bay or something like that. Don't know how we're gonna get one. Slap down a regular salvage bay and just tried destroying it. To clarify, obviously, I've tried this before. I don't expect anything to change here. So if we go, say, remove all wrecks. I mean, cl claim wrecks. Okay. That removed all of our stuff. But if I click the remove right button, it removes the entire ship. Which, funnily enough, I don't really want to do that. I mean, clearly something happens because it claimed all the wrecks. So maybe it'll work now. Who knows? It doesn't really matter for the time being because we're going to head... I guess planet side, right? And we can leave the ship unattended. We have an Arcotech in charge of the ship that can do all the fighting, the combat for us. So it's not like we need a crew here. So we've got either a Berserker clan or the insects. I'm going to try the Berserker clan first because I feel like fighting squishy humans, that's going to be an easy job for us. No problem at all. Oh, okay. I really don't remember this at all. The only one I remember even vaguely is the bloody moon base. Um, <laughs> this is going to be... Oh, Lord. Ram packed full of people. Uh, we might have some problems with that, but to be fair, if it's just going to be... If it's just going to be Wookiees, I think we're probably fine. I guess we just stand here and gun them all down. Oh my god, I forgot about Krupp's shoulder turret. Oh, and they're eating people. Oh, delicious. To be fair, we've eaten a lot of Wookiees, so I suppose it's, it's even... They're all Wookiees, aren't they? Our ultimate enemies. One of the four final enemies. What the hell is that? An Arco Stritch? Some sort of ostrich looking thing. Oh my god, I think we just got into a space battle. Oh no, we're good. It was just loading a little bit. Our uh, Arco Tortoise. I've killed plenty of those in my time. I'm gonna set the lightsabers up just to boomerang lightsabers at them. I think I think that's more than enough. Ah, oh, dick. Yeah, no, let's uh let's go ahead and fire up some of those. Have you also got the triple lightsaber power? Oh, you don't. Oh, okay. Well, Dick, honestly, that looks cool enough for you, my friend. You got something special going on there. That's an Arco Thrombo. Oh, it was an Arco Thrombo. Don't play, just don't hurt the shuttle. That's all I ask. Hey, sloppy, you're hitting the shuttle there. With your damn lightning bolts. Ooh, that's a lot of Wookiees, though. Holy crap. Let's step forward a minute. Then we'll go around the edge and slowly clear them out. I just don't want them attacking the shuttle. Of God, it's a lot of enemies. Oh, my God. You just get more Wookiees hatching as the fight goes on. I, what is this fucking clown car? How many are in there? My God. I mean, maybe more could be spawning in. I doubt it. Oh, a little baby Wookiee. An Ewok. Ewoks are just baby Wookiees. That's Star Wars canon. Jesus. Okay, area is safe. Tribes people are fleeing. Good work. Well done. And where's the pillar? Oh, that's the pillar right there. Arco Pillar Gamma. We just claim and uninstall. Ah. I don't know why. I thought we had to build one on the ship, but apparently we could just transplant the ones we've gotten. Okay, well, that's great. Something about cybernetic uh, mechanoid swarm, mechanite swarm Mandalorians fighting a bunch of tribal Wookiees to steal their sacred pillar. Feels a bit off. I feel like we, we've, we've done a horrible thing here. Oh, it, it said it was for different factions, right? 
Oh, interesting. I was thinking maybe one represents each faction, but no, you've got like a dining room, you've got like the meat, you've got like the sleeping areas. That's fun. Probably might as well take something home for a, for a nice gift, as a nice victory gift. We'll take all that human meat. Mmm. We'll go home, we'll do some more meditation. I want to keep the lightsaber characters on ranged attacks only so they can stand up front and do the deflections, and then if the Arco spiders or whatever in the next area gets too close, then we'll send them in. But I'm going to make sure that we're relying heavily, heavily on these guys doing most of the damage. Last thing I want to do is send Phoenix in, guns blazing, and have a cut down by wandering off by herself, right? I'm gonna be a bit more careful. Game over. All right. <laughs> just ignore it. <laughs> just, just, keep, just keep playing. Just ignore it. For fuck's sake. What do you mean game over? This is clearly not game over. I've got a whole colony. Shut up. I hope that doesn't break anything. It doesn't matter, okay? It doesn't matter. We're all fine here. We're all living our best lives. Right, so it's... Four pillars total. Let's do something like that. There you go. My good friend Sloppy, a gift for you. I mean, obviously, you know because you were there. Sloppy hasn't given me many exotic particles recently. Weird. Maybe I should turn off that auto accept. We haven't had a bloody damn thing. Ooh, hello. I was just going to let them meditate and go back out, but I thought, you know what? Let's build this ship out a little bit because we've got... A shitload of resources, more than what we need. Plenty of gold, plenty of plastic, nothing to worry about on advanced components. All right, let's test it out on some pirates then. All I've really been able to do is get a bunch more power plants down. In fact, I don't think I've overdriven them all. We've got 10 reactors now. So whatever power problems we had is, uh, is a thing in the past. These are just capacitor rays, generic heat sinks, that type of thing. Again, we're not getting enough exotic particles to uh, really go for the other stuff. Naturally, Palais... <laughs> oh, supposedly parlay failed. Oh, what a shocker. We were looking at this time. Oh, oh, I didn't, I wouldn't like abandon the map. What the hell? I've, I only just noticed that. Apparently I can't abandon it. All right, whatever. We'll sort that out later. Again, it's, it's just, I think the pirates always have the same configuration of ships. Right, we know this time that we have to select all the guns manually. So you lot can all fire up there. Let's take the little turrets and also fire at the top one as well. Let's take our spinal rail gun and fire there. And then the two laser guns, if it's even relevant, can fire at that one too. Anything else? Turrets are all on point defense. Oh, I think that should do us. 344,000 watts. Oh my god. All those guns just like snapping upwards is so scary. And I, oh, look at these. Oh, this is a lot better. This is a lot, lot better. Oh, my God. We can do that like 10 times now with no problems. Oh, my God. It just like immediately dismantled it. <laughs> oh, that's basically like both ships immediately screwed. That's why, honestly, I'm thinking we just swap them out for more. Swap the lasers out for, for more rail guns because I can't move the engines because of a bug or some mechanic that, that maybe I'm totally not understanding here. So at least that way we'd be able to get them fired because we've almost... Like, we've almost done before they've even got close. And then maybe we just have a rule that, you know, the second they get within laser range, that's when we panic and send our people over there in ships or something like that. Although the lasers are so cool, aren't they? Oh, they're so cool. They're apparently quite destructive, too. There you go. That should, <laughs> that should solve our problems. Wow. Credit to that shield for tanking even, like, the three or four hits there. Oh, there goes the entire back of the ship. Oh, well, there goes the entire ship. Okay, fair enough. How are we looking? Ship is a cannot, cannot move, needs more crew to operate. What the hell are you talking about, you weird man? We know that the power issues are pretty much resolved at this point. It says we're firing. I wonder if that's going to change target. Yeah, the power issues are, are totally good. No issues at all right there. And if there's a fight that takes... God damn. If there's a fight that takes longer than that, I think we've got much bigger things to worry about, right? I think our heat's a problem if, if we're going to blitz through that much, that that many shots. Like, like our whole strategy is just screwed if they can take the equivalent of power in that many railgun hits. Boom. Still not ship battle complete, huh? Oh, because their bridge is still manned. Yeah, it certainly is. Or at least... No way. Come on. <laughs> How are you not dead? There, problem solved. Do I even want to grab any parts of this? I, honestly... No, we've got too much to deal with right now. I go text poor and happy. What's wrong with you now, you big bitch? Okay, I presume that's just like based purely on Sloppy's mood. Has not left colony. It's dark. You're in fucking space. No recent trades. It's a bit late for that. All right, you know what? You want to leave? You want to leave? You want you want to leave and go to the planet? All right, I can deal with that. Let's go fight some bugs. Whoa, holy shit. Okay, so what do we 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 mine into the mountain to find the core? Holy shit, this is bizarre. 
I can't even land the shuttle. What the fuck? Have I got to land like... Oh! I don't think I can land the shuttle anywhere. What the fuck is going on here? This is so strange. Land it like... Right on the edge? Uh... What? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Oh, it's all overhead mountain. Where am I supposed to land then, chef? Uh, I guess change the plan then. We'll just land adjacent and then what, like caravan in? Enter mother hive site. Yeah, that'll do. Game over. Yes, very funny. Are you so funny? I don't know why I keep saying that. <laughs> oh, your ship's unattended. I guess that's the end. I don't know. I disagree. Oh, we can actually launch there because it's put us like right on the edge. Perfect. Right, squad. Let's go see what we can find. Not really sure what to expect. Not really sure what I'm looking for either. I guess I guess we are just supposed to tunnel into a mountain. Dick, my friend, it's, it's your time to shine. We'll go through here. Just cut like a very, very, very small hole. Do you still have two drill arms? Oh, you do. Oh, well, that's bloody convenient. A ah, gift. A gift. I've just decided to strip mine because I can't find what the hell I'm looking for. What the hell do you mean? Oh, right. Of course, it's all overhead mountain. A gift from Sloppy. Hello, what have you got for me? Good small medicine, Arco Life Pod, Psychic Animal Pulsar. Hey, I prefer some, uh, oh. How long has that been there? I don't know, but I'll happily take 44 exotic particles. Oh, shit. Is that why it hasn't been giving us particles? Because there was a quest all along. Oh, bollocks. All right. Well, there goes nothing. It's a good job none of my people need to eat, isn't it? Oh, fuck. It's right there. What, what the fuck? <laughs> it's right there. It's been there all along. I've been mining up the entire bloody map. You don't need... You don't need to. That was me almost throwing up at the thought of doing any more mining. I think this might be some uh, Star Wars mod pack weird interaction. I, I think you're supposed to be fighting like a ridiculous amount of bugs, but there's like one nest. There's one nest and there's no one home. And I think that's because obviously it's Star Wars animals and not uh, Rimworld animals. We've seen the Arco spiders, but but there are no regular bugs as far as I recall. Oh, that's so funny. That's so funny, but so stupid. Let's take the, uh, we might as well take the jelly, huh? That's a nice gift. Pillar 2 is down. I don't care about the last of the jelly. I couldn't give less of a poo-poo at this point. And there it is. Pillar Delta. I don't know that I want to empower Sloppy anymore. I feel like I've had enough. Uh, speaking of which, I'm giving Sloppy a whole other wing of heat sinks because we've still got a shitload of resources left over. Whereas in these areas, I'm taking all the hard points away. So they're indoor guns. I'm going to fill those with a variety of different guns. Maybe laser and plasma. A nice mixture. You see, I've swapped these out for rail gun. Uh, apparently not. Oh, there you go. For railgun. Put some props on the ship, but it makes us look like the bad guys. And I don't know that I like looking like the bad guys. We look like a big, terrifying beetle. You know? You see, you see what I mean? You, I, you don't understand. You haven't got the imagination for it. These motherfuckers have never seen a beetle before. You don't have to worry about that. They, they, they don't know what they're talking about. Ringo, I turned myself into an arco spore. Funniest shit I've ever seen. I mean, I've heard of Yellow Submarine, but... Okay, right, let's, <laughs> let's move on. Read that fucking moon base. Oh, we've got to get through this first. I was going to say, that's a funny looking moon base. We've already fought one of these, right? Is this the same as what we fought before? Is this like an upgraded version? No, this is the same thing. Okay, we destroy that, then the moon base makes itself revealed, I assume. All right, well, fair enough. Get fucked. We're out of plasteel, so I can't upgrade the... Obviously, can't upgrade the ship anymore, but I think we're doing well. I hope that my gun doesn't hit the, the decorative props beneath it. That'd be a bit unfortunate, wouldn't it? Oh, and I did replace all of them with, with just railgun barrels now, just to make it easier. Because then we can fire a little bit sooner. Please, by all means, fly within railgun distance. I think you'll love what I've got for you here. <laughs> uh, what's our heat grid looking like? Did I connect all this up? 512,000 heat units without using any of the exotic particle stuff. Okay, let's see how we fare against a mechanoid shield system. The answer is very well. Here comes triple railgun. <laughs> oh, my poor sweet mechanoid friends. Oh, what happened, buddy? Oh, no, what happened? Has your ship just immediately been neutered? Oh, dear. Well, these things happen, don't they? Second volley, please, chef. Thank you. Appreciate that. It's a wonder that they're able to keep going. What's our heat dissipation looking like? Actually fucking insane. Oh, I'm happy with that. Obviously, the dissipation, depending on the cooler, a bit more. The heat sinks, I'm trying to keep them kind of balanced one to one, more or less. And another big volley here. Well, there's no chance of them escaping now, isn't there? What am I supposed to be doing something? Sorry, should I be like, what is that in the middle? Is that their, sh that's their shield generator that's taking on so much heat simultaneously? 
that it's just like freaking out. Oh no, this is actually different to the other ship that we fought. It's like a more advanced version of it. And here come the three spinal capacitors. Beautiful. I don't have to like hack this or anything, do I? Well, I hope not, because um, it's dead. I've destroyed it. Beautiful. And sliced it clean in two. Great, okay. So maybe we just defeat this and then the moon base is revealed. I hope we don't have to like go on and hack it to learn the location of the moon base. I mean, not that it's exactly much of a much of a difficult thing to fight, is it? Honestly, I think swapping the lasers out for more railguns was a solid call. I think that was uh, a perfectly cromulent idea. And I think it's worked out pretty goddamn well. Thank you. Our shields are actually just like insane. I'm not going to say impenetrable because I don't know what we're eventually going <laughs> to... I don't know what we're going to end up fighting. Well, the personal shuttles have bugged out again. I actually did force an update, even though I've offline the mod pack. I did force an update for Save Our Ship Universum and Remnants 2. So I think there's just like a weird bug with the personal shuttles going on. Maybe. I, I'd assume so anyway, because uh, we've seen this one before. So uh, have I done a good job? Have we got to like hack a core or something? Uh, are there? Is there a core to hack? I don't believe so. I don't know if I've potentially fuck things up here moon base there it is moon base site oh approaching the moon base makes them attack us i assume and you've got to survive that then you go to the moon base i understand let's save and reload to clear these ships then now as i recall this encounter is absolutely insane like the hardest of hard thing they could have thrown at us holy shit yeah i mean that's just uh lunacy there's a lot of rocks to the south. I think we've got to kind of land amongst these rocks, haven't we, and use this to our advantage. Holy shit, this is insane. <laughs> Those are all centipedes. So many turrets. And we've got to get to this middle building here. So we just like, just like land in the building, no? Um, if we can land there and try and just rush it down, but we get, we just get eviscerated. I hate to say it, I think the slow fight is the right way to go about this. 